Visible Man is a compelling exhibit that tells the story of an albino African-American model who overcomes race inequality to expose humanity. Here to discuss the exhibit and the remarkable careers is artist Jerome Lagarigue and supermodel Sean Ross. Welcome both to the show. Welcome. Hi. So what made you decide to dedicate an entire exhibit to Sean's story? Well, basically, like most events in uh, my life up to now, it was uh, purely accidental. Hmm. Uh, I was uh, at Art Basel um, last year, which I believe was in uh, November. December. Oh, yeah. December, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. you know, December. it's okay. Yes. December, and just one morning, um, Unexpectedly, uh, a friend of mine was uh, speaking with Sean, sort of like uh, at a distance, and I had some kind of revelation. I just looked at him, um, the way he carried himself, the way his uh, skin caught the light, mm -hmm. um, and decided to abruptly interrupt their conversation. And was like, just can you please just sit in front of this blue wall, of the hotel lobby? shot a photograph, not, know, not knowing who he was, mm -hmm. um, and at the moment, never even asked um, his name, and um, quietly began painting on this large-scale canvas based on an iPhone photograph, and in, bes in between discovered who he, he was, and uh, luckily got in touch with him again and embarked in... Uh, a journey with him. So wait, Sean, um, a stranger comes up to you <laughs> and says, can I take your picture up against this wall? And you say yes? Well, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm totally used to it when you think about it, honestly. Like, people are always like, you know, can I take photos of you? Sometimes I don't even know where these photos are going half mm -hmm. the time. But what's funny is that when I actually met him on Ocean Avenue in Miami, I was just walking, and I met I met his friend previously, like the night before, and Another he was like, painter. "Yeah, he was like, I'm a, I'm a painter," and I was like, "Okay, well, I'm like I'm like paint me." I made a joke. I said, "Paint me." He was like, "Okay, maybe one day." <laughs> and Jerome, you know, is a very um, he's, he, he's an artist that you know who's to himself. He's really about his art, and he, he didn't want to like bother, but his friend was, you know, talking to me. He was behind him, and he was like, you know, he just came out of nowhere and was like, can I take a photo of you? And then literally months later, I have an email from my agent, Mimi at Next Models, and she's like, hey, um, this guy wants to show you this photo he painted of you. And I saw the painting inside yes. of the email and flipped. Wow. And he said, can we meet in Red Hook, and I want to show you the painting. And we met in Red Hook, and he says, you know what, I think you inspired me to do my next show. Wow, and now it's growing into a whole exhibit. So yes. tell us more about the exhibit, what we can expect, and also what you hope people will take away from it. Well, you know, um, having rediscovering Sean afterwards, and um, so you had developing, no idea I had no idea who he was. No really? idea. Who I had no idea. Who and, 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 you know, and where was I, right? <laughs> uh, and I feel embarrassed to admit that I was probably in my studio, you know, uh, looking for something silly to paint. But um, nevertheless, um, it's actually a blessing in disguise mm -hmm. that I never knew who Sean was um, because I wasn't in the business or in, in still not really of um, documenting fame and, um, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but painting <laughs> celebrities wasn't yeah. my thing. No, I understand. There's and a human a you element. Get to, you get to discover him through really fresh eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like to develop um, sort of an intimate rapport with my models, uh, with my muses, quote unquote. And this was only the second time around that I um, felt compelled to develop an entire body of work on one person. Mm. And actually, Sean's the first one where I actually painted one person that much back to back. Wow. Sean, what does, that, what does that feel like to yeah. be a muse? <laughs> well, for me, I, I said this kind of statement where um, I was actually speaking to uh, another person not, not too long ago. Mm -hmm. But I was talking about that I feel like agents nowadays don't like to create muses anymore. Mm -hmm. What happened to the Tyra Banks and the Naomi Campbell and the Tyson Beffert? All we have today when we look at models is simply just like these blank canvases. We don't know your name. We don't know anything about you. You're just walking with clothing and you're not given any accent to your life. Where you, you know, a little bit of you can't show. And, and designers don't like that. They don't like models to overpower their clothing. Yeah. So muses aren't created anymore. So when I found out that somebody saw the muse in me, I simply said to them, you get it. You totally get it. Yeah. And now we just have this whole masterpiece. And what I want, honestly, from people to take from this is just that 
the modern day Mona Lisa? Why is it that we have to go to museums and look at history and it's something that has happened? Why can't history be something we're living through? Mm. Well, you're making history at the same time. You're the first male albino model. Yeah. How does it feel to be a pioneer and, and be breaking down barriers? It's definitely a cool thing. Um, I mean, definitely, I get a little bit overwhelmed sometimes because mm. when you know when you're young, you don't. It's, it's almost like being a, a news anchor. It's like you know mm. being the first. You, you're like, how? You know, this world is so big. What is it? Seven or is it between six and eight billion people? I don't know the exact mm -hmm. number, but it's a lot. Yeah. So. <laughs> For you to be that single one person that has that title, it's like how? You know, you, we, we, we exist in the world where there's so many things and I feel like all those possibilities are taken up. Well, mm -hmm. how did it come to be? How were you discovered? Well, when I was 16 years old, I used to do dancing, actually. Yes, I used to dance in my house, please. <laughs> and I, I painted used, you dancing. Uh, okay. You did. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> and we like, um, so basically I, like, I put up this YouTube video and it was of me dancing and this guy literally like hit me up inside of my YouTube account and said, hey, I think you can be a model. And I'm like, okay, weirdo, is this like, is this like some like scam model or something? Do I have yeah. to pay a fee? Uh -huh. And he's like, no, I really think you can. I said, okay. So I begged my mom. I said, mom, I really want to go downtown and see this guy who wants to take photos of me. My mom said, it's probably a scam. I said, no, let's go and do it. I went downtown. I took photos with him, and literally three hours later, I signed my first contract. Wow. Three hours? And then, yep, that, I signed that Tuesday, and that Friday, I had my first big meeting ever in fashion, which was with P. Diddy, face to face, just mm -hmm. me and him one on one. Mm -hmm. Never worked with him, because he's a great guy, and he really is. And now you've gone on to great things like dancing in Beyonce's video. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows you from that, uh, being there with I mean, her. Yeah, <laughs> Beyonce is an amazing, she's an amazing spectrum. Happy birthday, Beyonce, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're going to talk about it later in the show, but since Definitely. you're there, happy birthday, yeah. baby. <laughs> happy birthday. But she's an amazing person, mm -hmm. and if it wasn't for Ty Hunter, who's her stylist, who's mm -hmm. like a godfather to me, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have done any of those things. Probably wouldn't be half the places that I am in my career, to be honest with you, simply because him and Beyonce have also inspired me. When I first met Beyonce, the first sentence she ever said to me, I got in her Escalade, and she says, you are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And when she said that, I literally was just like, yeah. Oh my God! I can't believe this. I can imagine. Great story. Wow. All right. Well, Jerome, before yeah. you go, tell where us can when we and where. Can see the exhibit? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so the exhibit, the out, the opening is actually in two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Yeah. Um, at five twenty-five West Twenty Fifth Street, at Driscoll Babcock Gallery, Ooh, which I is know where that is down the street. Yeah, from New York's apartment. New right. York's oldest Ooh. gallery, actually. Now everybody knows where you live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not exactly, but we're there. Yeah, it'll yeah. be great. It's going to be fun. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you both you. so much. Congratulations mm -hmm. on the exhibit. Thank you so much. So much for having us. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.